Howdy, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV, and today we'll be getting into variables. So in the previous video, we were learning about how to read a single line of code. And in this video, we'll be working with multiple lines of code, and we'll be working with the whole numbers or integers, like we were in the first video. So these are numbers like negative 27, 0, 157, and so on. The first thing we see here are six lines of code and there's a lot of semicolons. Instead of doing everything on one line, I've split up some of the work into multiple lines and then we're doing some complex expressions at the bottom. So what this code is doing, if we just look at the high level picture, is it's creating variables, it's giving them values, and then it's modifying them using themselves. Like before, we're going to use sticky notes to visualize what's going on in the computer when we execute this code. If we look at the first two lines, those set up our sticky notes. Notice that our sticky notes are empty after those. There's no value that we've assigned to it. And now we want to put something there. So we'll do the assignment operator, which is like an arrow pointing from the right to the left. And then we can add our values onto the sticky notes. Now we get into our expressions. To make this easier to follow along, I like to write the expression on the sticky note. All right, so now let's substitute in the value of b, and we get 5 plus 20. Now when we evaluate this, it becomes 25, and we can replace the old value and get rid of our notes. We'll do the same thing for a. And notice here we're doing a minus b. So if you were following along earlier and you didn't change the value of b, you would get a different answer than if you did. So we substitute in the new value of b, which is 25. We get 5 minus 25, which is negative 20. So that's how to read multiple lines of code. The order of execution goes from top to bottom, just like we would read a book or a to-do list. And after running the code, the values of our variables will change. So again, this is a simple example, but this is all you're really doing when you're writing code. You're modifying values, storing the results, and then using them again. So now that we know how to read code, we're going to start to work with Apple's Xcode which is used to make iPhone and Mac apps.